Aliens vs Predator is a great game, but some reviewers seem to not be content about the game being too easy. It's too much of a casual experience, they say. But I like it. Though I do admit that the game is objectively too easy. I mean, you're basically invincible in the game. Enemy attacks barely leave a dent on your health bar. And you can even replenish your health from the menu by paying a small price in honor points. Also aside of the combat, you'll have to pinpoint bits of alien technology on the map and destroy them. But this scavenging isn't an exploration game anymore, since the map shows you the exact location of the parts. And this is not all. And this is not all what the game tells you. Whenever there's something to interact to, like a weakened wall or a crank, the game tells you with a big red triangle where you have to go and what you have to do. And honestly, I don't understand why reviewers complain about this. I mean, I mean, the PSP, even if it has decent looking textures, they still look muddy. Would those reviewers prefer to walk to each muddy texture and find out what is interactable and what not? I mean, without the red triangles, the game would have been frustrating, in my opinion. I mean, sure, because the map is so empty, there's not really much exploration involved. Even if the maps look big, they are pretty narrow in their plan. I mean, there's only so many paths you can follow. The game's plot is that an alien ship has come crashing down in a small town in Colorado and you, the predator, must destroy all traces of the newfound extraterrestrial life in the area. You encounter plenty of humans too, both civilian and from the military, which you will take out in predator fashion using the technology from the movie, such as invisibility cloaking, three types of special vision modes and the trademark laser weapons. The game also has ad hoc multiplayer, here you can play skirmish matches with a friend. You have, you have to blast as many aliens as you can in the time limit while wandering the maps from the storyline and at the end of the match the player with the most honor points wins. The levels also look very nice for a PSP and overall while I do agree that the game is very easy to beat and that might discourage hardcore seeking gamers to even try out the game, me as a casual games loving individual, I like the game. I had fun. And aside of the difficulty, the game is a great time game. It uses the source material nicely into a fun game. I consider the game an exception to the rule that time games are bad. This one is actually pretty good.